Welcome to this 20 minute somatic stress release yoga practice. So we are going to get straight in. I'm going to invite you to come into a comfortable position. It doesn't have to be seated. I invite you to close down the eyes if you feel safe to do so. And just start to really bring your awareness inside. And during this practice, I invite you to bring your awareness inside as much as possible, allowing yourself to let the body guide you and lead you. So taking some nice deep breaths in, maybe sighing out the mouth, and just allowing yourself to let go of all of the stress that the body and the mind are holding and allowing yourself to move through this practice, really allowing the practice to release the stress and the tension from the body. Full awareness stays inside the body. Just taking a few more deep breaths. We hold so much tension in the body without realizing. We allow so much stress and pressure to build up on our bodies. And this practice is really good for you to tune into the body to see what is going on. So really allow yourself to keep all of your awareness inside during this practice. Allow yourself to move into each pose with full deep awareness and really just let go of the tension. So I'm going to invite you to take one more deep breath and then when you're ready and feel safe to do so, open the eyes. And we're going to start by shaking out the arms and taking them out nice and wide. Take a deep breath in and reach the arms all the way up, gazing up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale, bring them all the way down. Big breath in as we rise up, creating space in the body, spread the fingers. And exhale all the way down. Maybe we exhale out of the mouth to allow the tension to really be released from the body. Allow yourself to really open up the heart, create as much space as we can in the body. Just really allowing this first move to ground into your practice, rooting down through your sit bones and allowing as much space into your awareness as possible. Make that next one your last one. Bring the hands down now and relax them by the side of the body. Take the left hand now down to the mat, reach up with the right arm and take a lean over to the left thigh. Again, keeping all of your awareness inside, move now to the other side, right hand comes down, left arm reaches up, reaching over to the right side, and then continually move from one side to the other at your own pace. It's really important that you move in your own way because we are all so different. And everything that I am sharing with you is simply an invitation. So please move in your own way and how feels good for you. Making sure that you're getting what you need and what the body needs. Maybe the body wants to hold in one position. Just really tune in and feel what's going on in there. And then I'm going to invite you to take one more on each side. Full awareness, somatic experience, and then come back into the center. I'm going to ask you to release your legs out and just give them a little shake up. Give them a little wobble, release any stress and tension from them. And then we're going to move through Rock the Baby. So take the right foot with the left hand and place the right hand on the right knee and now just move in and out through your hip joint taking movements in and out as big or as small as you want really allowing yourself to open up and create space in those beautiful hips that we often hold so much tension and emotions in and again just asking the body what it needs so we're going to now plant that right foot to the outside of the left leg, wrap the left hand around the right knee and take a spinal twist over the right shoulder. The right hand comes to the ground. Please don't force this. It's really important that we ease into the pose and that we do not force ourselves. So just take some nice big deep breaths. 
and just relax so if you are noticing that you are holding tension just allow yourself to relax let the breath guide the body do not hold tension and force the body be loving be gentle allow yourself to release stress not create more stress so just breathe Take one more big deep breath here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna slowly come out, release the legs, take a little shake off again. And we're gonna prepare for the other side. So the right foot, sorry, the right hand comes to the left foot and left hand to the left knee and take a movement in and out with the hips again asking the hips what do they need what's going on in the body what does it need how is it feeling and just moving in and out of this pose go as slow or as quick as you want as the body needs and then planting that foot now out to the outside of the right leg <laughs> right hand comes to the left knee take a twist to the left side and again just like the other side we breathe into this pose we use the hand to just support us and if we are gripping maybe we just soften a little and let go maybe the hand drops down to the shin or anywhere else on the leg that's okay just breathe take that twist and do not force anything just allow the breath to guide the body and move the body how it wants to be moved deep breaths release that stress from the spine maybe you are aware of some stress that has built up yesterday or today can we ask the spine to release that stress right here right now in this moment and then take one more deep deep breath and come back out shake the legs off we're gonna come on to our fours now and place the hands down into the ground ground through your knees and I want you to gently move now back and forward so sending the bum back towards the heels and then bringing some weight gently forward and maybe there is a little drop of the hips being very gentle we're going to exhale as we come back and inhale as we come forward awareness stays inside free movement is very welcome here and let the body lead we are asking the body to release the stress through the breath there is no right or wrong very gentle and slow take one more Stay back now into the, your child's pose. Walk the hands forward and drop the head down to the ground. Soften with every breath and continue breathing in through the nose and out of the mouth. Just relax. Maybe we tip the head, T tip the head, <laughs> maybe we turn the head to the left and let the right side of the face relax on the ground, gazing under the left arm. So we're getting a nice stretch in the side of the neck here and also releasing stress from the neck. awareness of the breath and then gently change sides again awareness of the breath
Relax the body. Take one more breath. And then gently come back into the center. And then slowly walk your hands back up, bringing yourself back up onto the knees. We're going to just release the hands out by the side. Take a deep breath in. Reach the arms all the way up and connect the hands at the top, interlacing the fingers and turn the palms up towards the ceiling or the sky. Take a deep breath in here, squeeze shoulders up in towards the ears. Exhale, soften, relax the shoulders, relax the torso. And the hands are going to start to come down as we relax with every breath. We're going to let them naturally come down. Maybe they rest on the head. Let them just fall down now, wherever they want to. One more breath. And then slowly release the hands back to the mat. We're going to gently bring the right foot forward. If you have a bolster or some pillows, you can use it. We're going to come into a pigeon pose. Now, it's really important that I share this, that many yoga teachers will have their leg um, directly straight in line with the shorter edge of the mat. It does not need to be like that. So we're just going to bend the right leg. The right foot comes out to the left side of the mat. And then the knees are towards the right side, but it doesn't matter if it's at an angle. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to gently come down and rest here. We're just going to take some deep breaths. Try to let go of all the tension in the hips and the glutes. Awareness of the breath. Keep your awareness inside, keep relaxing with every breath. Take one more breath. And then gently come back up. We're going to change sides and I invite you to release that right leg and be very gentle with how you are moving and ask the body what it needs and give it the movement that it needs before you change sides. And then when you're ready, you can come to the other side. So the left leg goes forward, the left foot goes to the right side, come into whatever position feels good for you. And then take some deep breaths and allow yourself to arrive. Maybe the head goes out to the side, it doesn't matter. So long as you are listening to your body and you are relaxing, it does not matter. Ask the stress to leave the body. Awareness stays inside.
take one more breath. And again, finding your own way to come out of this pose. And we're going to make our way onto our back. So do that in whichever way feels good for you. Remember to listen to the body and let the body move in whichever way it wants to. And when you have arrived onto your back, I invite you to bring the arms out nice and wide left to right. Bring the feet together and legs together. We're going to let both legs fall to the left side. And all I want you to do is just take some deep breaths. Just letting yourself unfold here. Staying with the breath and releasing attention from the body. And then when you're ready, coming back into the center. We're going to let them drop to the other side now. And again, just taking some deep breaths. Just relax. Soften the muscles. Take one more breath. And then gently come back into the center. Your options are to bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a little rock from side to side or bring the knees out wide and take a little rock in motion in butterfly. It doesn't matter what option you take, just listen to the body and ask it what it needs. Or mobility wise, whatever is best for you. And then gently coming into stillness, let the legs go out long. And I'm going to finish the practice here. Thank you so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you did enjoy the practice and you would like to leave a comment, it would be beautiful to receive your comment and be able to connect with you. Thank you so much again. I'm sending lots of love to you. See you in the next video.